like nibi beni bi where have you guys been nibi right now um so yeah welcome new nation to yet another banger video welcome to the family welcome to the subscribers um welcome to the nippy gang welcome 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 um welcome to the new service as well um guys as like send me up you guys are here already so y'all might as well press that notification button Yo, guys, and it's as big as my pom-pom because I don't know what's going on. But please press that post notification button. I said, please go do it now. Press that button. Don't forget to press the like button because you guys be viewing, but you guys don't be liking. Like, I don't understand. Why do you guys, you guys don't want to see me succeed? You guys don't want to see me win in life because why are you guys not, not liking the video? And again, while we're at it, go like the video right now. Literally, just exit, press like. My wig is falling apart, is Hannah? But yeah. Okay, now that we are back, thank you for the ad break. I hope that you guys have liked the video. I hope that you guys have followed me on Instagram at Lulu underscore Domsana. You guys have joined the family. You guys have pressed that subscribe button, and you guys have just been doing the most. Otherwise, I've said I understand that because go go and provide daily content. Nani like, post, share, subscribe, do the most, comment on my videos. Let us chat. Let us talk. So, yeah, guys, Zini. Also, guys, I've been getting so many comments saying that, Mom, nah, I speak a whole lot of East Cosa and go, we've got family members from across the world, other provinces, all of that, different languages and stuff like that. So, we're going to try to be a bit more accommodative and speak a bit more English. And if I forget, then subtitles. Subtitles are something that I need to get into my head. Subtitles, 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 you know, so that we can accommodate everybody. So, yeah, guys, Zini, while we are at it, can we please just grab our juices, grab our drinks, grab our coffees, grab our waters, grab our, um, I don't know, champagnes for those of you who are. There was a girl in my comment section and she was like, let me just sit here while I'm just sipping on my crown. And I was like, <laughs> okay, girl, work it. So, yeah, Tina, I can some of us in translation we will be drinking juice okay we will be drinking juice so nigga be shy nani grab your juices grab your drinks grab your whatever and let us get straight into the story mm. so good right so kazini ish it's a story i don't want to be judged I don't have any chance, but okay, it is what it is. So I'm going to tell it regardless. I'm going to tell it nonetheless. So yeah, guys, um, this story is something that actually happened. Mm, is it late last year-ish vibes? I think late last year vibes into the beginning of the year. So guys, hey, um, this is around the time where the, the dude that I was dating was acting up. Yeah, well, he was literally acting bang out of order um even things that he was doing i think he was like we were at a point where we were really like tired of each other and the relationship had dragged out for so long but he, you see that thing where you know that it's over it's dead it's gone it's chai but you told you've told yourself man this is this is a person that you've been with since like you know for like a cool minute now so obviously you don't want to go anywhere but it's like you're seeing other people out there, you're finding them attractive and stuff like that. And yo, you're only staying here for the sake of loyalty with this dude, with this nigga. But the situation is no longer giving, you understand? So, like, what are you staying for? Because the situation is no longer serving you. It is no longer serving its purpose. So, it was those kind of situations. And that's when I ended up stepping out on Umugai. Um, because he was also like doubling and dabbling and cheating. He would go out to parties, come back with numbers, conversations, stuff like that. And it was at a point where we were at a point where like he didn't even care, like he wouldn't even hide it and stuff like that. And the situation was just really toxic. But I'm not excusing what I did because cheating is cheating, child. So guys, Zini, um, it just so happened about well, okay. Um, this one day that I was coming back from from work, and like literally, I was I was like, coming back from work or school. It was school because remember, I finished school last year. So, yeah, I was coming back from school. Actually, I remember. Obs. 
OBS. This is for summer school vibes, yeah, well, So we were in observatory, and if you know KUCT, for summer school, normally majority of the people stay in OBS. So cool, gang, yeah, nigga. I'm coming back from the shop, and I'm working in OBS. Now, guys, if y'all know CPT, and y'all know that Roundabout Rosebank slash OBS area, you know that it is always so busy with these foreign dudes and stuff like that, yeah, well, so all these nice people, these nice cars and whatnot. So yeah, but I would not engage in that, you understand? Because obviously I still had a person. But now on this one particular day, this, um, should I say the color of the car? Let me just say this green, um, bins literally just, um, basically stopped next to me. Hey, okay, I sent I sent I sent a motto, I sent guys motto, and everything. And this change inside is like, listen, can I please give you a lift? no man like this is not my vibes no like this is not me but yo guys the south african guy yeah well surprisingly man on my no man that i like i'm good let me say that or basically no don't call me that like literally i'm not even that old i'm in like my mid-30s and whatnot and at the time now i was 21 yeah well so he's in his mid-30s so obviously like 32 33 ish yeah, well, those ages so that's like a good decade older than me but i'm old enough yeah, well, to be like okay whatever i do want to engage in the situation sharp Hey, as I guess, I'm okay, Oba, Yena, he is fine. Get yeah, I let him take me to race, even though I was already there, basically, like a minute away or so. He drops me off, Nyanike, and when he drops me off, he's on some, no, listen, I don't have a person, and I'm currently looking for a person, and stuff like that. Yeah, well, sharp. And I'm like, um, okay, like, I'm not really looking to be anybody's person right now. And I, I tell him my whole situation, ne? And I tell him my also, like, my situation is actually not really working out for me and stuff like that. He's like, oh, okay, cool. That's fine then, because obviously if it's not working out, it means that there is a chance for him. Guys, so then when I tell you, Uba, this man would literally call morning lunch supper time and buy food and literally just go out of his way in jail to make me feel good yeah, and to literally just make me forget about my situation and that's all we would talk about but oh my boyfriend did this oh he did that oh he did this oh he did that sharp and it would always be like jonga like mshie leave him in the dust in the desert without any water because clearly he could also care less about you I'm not about to do that. As in my man and I have been through the most, so I can't imagine myself leaving that situation. Hi, Gesana. And I think, I don't know if I fall for the materialistic things from opens, but I don't know. Like, because guys, when I say that, I did not even find this man attractive. When I'm telling you about he's not that old obviously like dudes in like in their 30s and stuff like that obviously now on my band too they are people they are human and they are still like you know what i mean they're still in that fine because guys you know how in 90s people like are be aging like fine one lately so yeah so like i like it was at a point where i didn't even notice now his age but i just knew that i was not attracted to him because at that point in time i was only attracted to like these light skin jeans and whatnot and stuff like that but i was still on that bus so he's a nice fine skin jeans and whatnot and get really catch him he's not my type but he's gorgeous yeah but, and he's manied and everything and eventually i'm like <laughs> yeah but, um and i think he asked me on a date and eventually i agree i'm like okay cool why not sharp this nigga takes me on a couple of dates and we went to Tosh's a lot. We would be around the VNA a lot, right? And we would drive around town and stuff like that and Camps Bay, all of these nice places. Sharp. This dude is, he's a close agent from Cape Town. So yeah. And so for me, it's kind of like quite rare to like experience like a close agent in this light and stuff like that because, okay, fine, they can be lovers when they want to be, but this whole you know what i mean i don't know like lifestyle really obviously it's normally catered by these foreign men and stuff like that yeah but so yeah and i think literally a month in literally catches within like catches is this girl catches the girls and go well, the crazy thing is go well, like you know when you can see the red flags but you're refusing to like acknowledge them and stuff like that like you can definitely see that it is red my sister the robots are red like guys when i say this this dude would get phone calls he would not pick them up um there was this one time where because he said to me he doesn't have kids it doesn't need anything this one time where literally he picked up the phone and all he could hear was da 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 on the phone and i'm like 
what's happening and literally he was just there on some ugh, i don't know these um random kids just out here call, claiming people's dads and whatnot he was calling his aunt and that's his aunt's baby mind you he had told me by his aunt is like in her late her aunt, his aunt is like in her late 50s so if you're 58 59 60 like he would also mess up because the last time he was like oh no the last one is in varsity but now how can she have a last one that's like go go gaga da 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 you know what i mean but i was like okay you know what ne? as much as these the robots are red there's a possibility that they're gonna turn yellow that they're gonna turn green you understand if i just wait my turn until they become that color you know? let me not first style and let me not like put the poor gents in a corner like the flags are not that red like they are not that red this is red okay and this could also be red even though it's like orange this bio oil this tissue oil is like orange so obviously if you like scrub long enough it's eventually gonna become orange you understand then go no, from orange i'm trying to find green it's gonna become i don't know i've got a shoelace here so you're gonna come sparkly white eventually do you see how it just melts into the white white white, 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 white. just white yeah well, so eventually i'm like that's gonna be the journey of our process so the lights are not that red stop exaggerating is what i would say to my friends give me a minute that's what i would say to my friends so now um <laughs> So now, Kaizini, um, this one time, this gent is like, um, come over to my house and stuff like that. Because I was so persistent. Like, why don't you want to invite me over? Why can't we do things? Like, I bought pens, going to Gandoni. You stay in this nice place. Somewhere. Like, why can't I come over? Like, I just failed to understand as to why, like, why he just didn't want me to come over. He never blatantly said it. But, like, we would never just, like, we would never go to his place. You know? And yo, well, that kind of bothered me because I was like, are oh, you hiding me and whatnot? And yo, well, now I am deep in. Guys, the way that I was so deep in, I could care less what um my boyfriend was saying. Like, I was spending less and less and less and less time with him. Literally ignoring him, flat out pretending that this, that nigga don't even exist. Yeah, you know? I would only talk to him if he's calling me and whatnot. He'd be asking, why am I distant? And I'm like, oh, wait, what do you expect after all the things that you did? I started to resent my current the my current boyfriend that i was with at the time because all of those bad things that he was doing literally just came back in that moment and yo they were just becoming heightened because now i'm in love with this new man and i'm like Ugh, leave me alone do you know what i mean and that is the definition of my sometimes actually the, by the time that the girl says the relationships are over they're really probably within another one and girls is our teeny because we have to look out for our hearts like even as teeny don't even be judging in the comment section because child what do you want us to do so yeah yo, guys it was that situ <laughs> eventually he's like okay come to my place like come over and let's chill and stuff like that yeah, well, cool hi kenyani guys i go to this dude's place and stuff like that hi kenyani go here and stuff like that place is very nice i'm forgetting to translate now place is very nice it's giving it's aesthetics it's everything you understand sharp now the problem comes in when mukai is like um okay so babe we're going to be sleeping in the spare room what do you mean like you've got a whole main bedroom what do you mean that we're going to be in the spare room i am the sense in it as i'm telling you guys even like it's 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 not making sense sharp gang i'm going like yeah, for reals when Yanke, we sleep in the spare room and whatnot and we like we have fun we do the do it's like a nice time or whatever ne? sharp then i wake up early in the morning because now guys i'm like i'm a morning person and when i wake up i will like wonder and i will go through things and i will be touching things that i'm not supposed to be touching doing things that i'm not supposed to be doing etc 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 i don't know why i put that ice back in but ew so yeah that's what i was doing the whole time just snooping girls get at girls I am not the only one that snoops early in the morning or when the dude steps out to go buy food or whatever. I know that I'm not the only one. We all do it. Like, we literally all do it. So, yeah, you guys, there's me just all up in that place snooping and snooping and snooping and snooping. Being Snoopy the detective or Kenya slash Snoopy the dog. You understand? So, yeah, you can snoop it around. 
after all of that snooping i end up i'm getting to the to the main bedroom right i don't know why my really so tangled i end up getting to the main bedroom so when i get there i open the door like in yanke the door is unlocked i go in i'm busy admiring the aesthetics of the room and stuff like that like it's very 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 pretty guys like very pretty at some point i'm even like okay i understand why he doesn't want us to be in here probably he's like protecting his peace or like whatever you know his space and stuff like that demo shop then i understand it in nonsense man i understand it papa i'm a bitch oh be right to you my bitch you will i look to understand it in nonsense i'm understanding bs at this point so yeah guys after that okay i just i don't know like i was walking out the door but i don't know what told me to turn around and to just snoop in the closet right <sighs> so i turn around okay for reals and when i turn around i go to the closet when i get to the closet ha ah! females clothes females clothes like there's nothing that you can tell me that's going to convince me that this man is into facility and um, versatility and like into feminine stuff and whatnot no these are female clothes these bras there's underwear in this closet and stuff like that um coats skirts all of that stuff how do you explain that there's shaving products there's so many things in here that are giving red flag now as i'm still standing there mugai walks in and he's on some why are you snooping clearly you don't trust me and everything and whatnot and Make it make sense. And now, guys, what I didn't mention to you guys is I saw a whole stack of money in the closet as well. Like a whole stack of money. Now, what else I saw when I was snooping in that closet, guys, was so many IDs from so many females. And I'm just like, what are all of these identifications like doing in here, right? And even as like, he's like, why are you snooping? You don't trust me and whatnot, whatnot. I'm like, why are the IDs of some other females in your closet? First of all, why are they, why are the females clothes in your closet and stuff like that? Who else stays here? He's on some, oh no, it's my housemaid, housekeeper, what, 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 what. I just let her use this, um, this closet because obviously she's a lady and I wanted to feel her best. Just because she's a housekeeper doesn't mean that she doesn't deserve the main bedroom closet. Hey! Yo! Just because she's a housekeeper doesn't mean that she doesn't deserve the main bedroom closet. Kandia, what is the spare bedroom closet for? There are so many closets in this house, guys. And even the spare bedroom is not the only spare bedroom. There's another huge one. Why would you let somebody else use your own closet? To make them feel special when you've already given them a room and everything and they stay here and they get all the luxury and because he thought i'm stupid that's what he thought i was bobo the fool like bobo like oh bobo yeah and what did bobo do bobo was like oh okay babe and then i started questioning him later on as that day about why are all of these ids of all of these females they like and i'm talking about like these these girls are like young like 19 year olds 20 year olds 21 22 23 year olds and i'm like one second don't like what is going on and he's like oh no it's just family members and stuff like that we were playing a game last time that they were here and all of my like little cousins and nieces and nephews and stuff like that they had brought their ids so i let them leave them here because obviously when by the time everyone went home they were drunk i didn't want them to lose their positions Everybody was so drunk. So when they were driving home, you decided to keep all of the IDs and only the females one. Where are the males' IDs? Where are your male cousins' IDs? Why are all of your cousins around the same age, 19 and 20 year olds? 18 year olds, 17 year olds. Some of them even have paperwork. So you told you telling me that they came to games night with paperwork. Does not make sense. I went on by Mambinja. This was the time where I should have been like Papa Mambinja. Guys, for those of you that don't know the song, it means goodbye, Mambinja. Be cool or be fine. I hope that you'll be fine. Sleep in peace or RIP, right? That's what it means. That's what like you say when you like exiting a situation. But that's what I say ever since I've heard that sound of t on TikTok. Bye bye, my bitch. Oh, bed right in my bitch. So yeah. So again, Yanke, guys, it ain't lost it. Afterwards, he's like, okay, well, if you don't trust me, then it just means that like maybe we should both like leave this relationship because I can't be with somebody that does not trust me. 
What does Lulu do? She stays. Because I need to... I can't leave my person just because of my trust issues. No, it does not make sense. Why in this I'm yola? Why am I coming for his personality and attacking him and just snooping around? And then once I've snooped around, now I have found a reason to be mad at him when I shouldn't even be snooping because it's giving I am insecure. That Those are the things that he was saying to me. And I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, this gent is so right. In fact, I need help for going through these things and seeing all of this stuff. Yeah. When I tell you over, I was Lulu and Loki, I think I was brainwashed. So, yeah, guys, that was the situation. Did the guys shoot God real the following week when this nigga invited me to... He said there's an event at his jeans place or whatnot and stuff like that. And in fact, they're going to be chilling afterwards at some party place. Do I want to come? Obviously, he knows that I'm going to say yes. I always say yes. But at that time, I was feeling very sick on that day. But he was being so persistent. Like, Lulu, please come. Please come. You're going to make me... Pardon me. So sorry, guys. You're going to make me so upset if you don't come. Because it's the one time that I actually want you to pull through to something. Please just wear that red dress that I bought you the last time. And those heels and that makeup and that scent. And make sure that you leave, like, your identification behind and stuff like that. Because I don't want it to get lost at the club. And leave it behind. Leave it behind where? So he was like, no, like, um, pull through to the spot where we at. I'm going to Uber you. But when you get here, tell me when you're outside, right? And then we can leave all of your positions in my car. And then we, we can walk inside together. So I was just like, no, I'm going to leave my ID and stuff at home. Like, there's no need for me to bring it and stuff like that. But I didn't tell him that. I just got my stuff and I went to where he was, right? Uber there. So it turns out that he was like at this like exclusive club spot and stuff like that. They were in town, but I'm not going to say the name of the place, right? Cool. So now when we got here, um, this dude is like, okay, we're now going to head to Durbanville. This was just like the meetup location. We then literally like Nyanke, we go to in the car and then we head to Durbanville. We to another like exclusive place, right? Cool. Now, okay, guys, when we get here, like this is when he's like, okay, so where's your ID and stuff like that? So we can leave it in the car. And I'm like, oh no, baby, like I left it at home because I didn't see I need to bring it. Yo! When I tell you about this man blew a gasket because how dare I leave my ID and my stuff like that and why are you so mad that I bring didn't bring my ID? I am so confused. Like he's like, okay, did you bring your wallet? At least anything that has like learner's license, what like whatever, some form of identification. I'm like, nope. No. Kazini, when I tell you about this man was so upset on some man was on Lucy, it's a deal. No, 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 no. And I'm like, what deal? Like, are you talking about and stuff like that? He's like, do you know how important these clients are? And they came here spe especially today just to come and see you. And I don't think he heard himself because he was ranting on and he was so mad. And he was literally like, okay, you know what? Let me just go inside and find out like if everything is everything still in order, right? When I, you just fix yourself and whatnot. Then I pay attention to what I'm wearing. I am wearing this backless, um, also open at the front. Like, literally, this dress, which has a super low plunging neckline. And it's open at the back. And then the, the dress is literally like a mini skirt. And I'm like... And I've got a whole full face beat because I made sure that, like, I do my makeup and stuff like that. And I'm like... He's going to check if the dudes are satisfied. Am I being sold or what is happening? Why is it so mad that I didn't bring my identification and stuff like that? What are all those IDs and stuff doing at his place as well? Bye bye, my pinch. Did you guys? I was gonna call my friends, but I was like, this is gonna take too long because they're gonna ask too many questions. I requested the same time, like same time. And at that time, I was so glad that in driver had just popped up in because in driver was working super fast. Sometimes balls can take like a long time or even Uber. In drive, I literally said a minute away, got into the car, out of there. Out of there, guys, like, out of there, right? After that, blocked, delete everything, his number, and I didn't even go back to um OBS. I went straight home. And I think, guys, that's what, like, what I do every time when I'm in a situation like that, I end up going straight home. And I don't even know how many times that, yo, ha, ha, guys, in it, when I say that dude was emailing me and calling, I don't know how he got my email and stuff like that, but he was calling me nonstop. 
And my friends would be like, Chumi, he's at Braves. We can see him because they would be checking out the window. Chumi, here's the pins. 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 Bro, guys, the day I lost it, I ended up having to do everything like online and stuff like that and but anyways it turned out that i didn't even like need summer school and stuff like that so my parents just went to go fetch my things and they came back home and yeah i lost you too my parents don't even know why i made them go fetch my things at least i just said i'm not okay i'm feeling anxious and i don't want to be around people and stuff like that i never told them the full situation and in fact i don't know where that guy even ended up and stuff like that i was too scared to even report it or even do anything about it because i'm like i don't know how much power or influence that this nigga has like the amount of money that he has and all of that ids and stuff like that like could he be into human trafficking or what like you know what i mean so mm -mm, it's not make sure then also when i was thinking about it it's so strange how that dude literally popped up out of nowhere because that night i had been requesting right i had requested now if you guys know in drive you have to take your picture yeah, and put it on the app so i remember i had taken a picture and i was looking good and whatnot and i put it on the app when i first installed in drive right so before i was walking to ops at the shop that i was i had requested because it was getting a bit dark so i didn't want to walk but then i eventually summed up the balls and then i just walked i never went back on my app to check whether the drive came or whatnot i just switched off my phone and i remember i left well which was when i met that dude Beep, 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 beep. and literally he makes sure that he's stopping here by me and stuff like that and yeah we too like he which makes me think actually you know what like we need to be safe because we put our pictures and stuff like that on these driving apps and whatnot what if these dudes be going on these driving apps they see oh, okay they actually request pictures of us of us pop up and stuff like that and then they're like oh okay cool mm, maybe this one could be a target oh maybe this one is pretty oh maybe the, you know what i mean stuff like that so i don't know it was just it seemed a bit shady to me and when eventually i got back to res and i had opened my phone it said that the driver had um, canceled the trip on his end right so I never really bothered to check what kind of car it was and everything like that. So, but when I retraced the story, I was like, that could have been that dude. You know, literally that's how that all of this, the whole thing, like probably could have happened. So yeah, guys, I went long, dog. And that's the story of how I almost got trafficked. And I really think that I was going to, because who knows? Because the fact that he has all of these IDs of all these 19 and 20 year olds and these 18 year olds, where are those people right now? Bye, P. Why did I have to bring my identification, leave it in his car, meet in town, but be headed to Durbanville? Doesn't make sense. And at some point, he even wanted to blindfold me because it was like, I wanted to be a romantic or something. Like and I was like, hell no, I'm not about to be blindfolded. How many people has he blindfolded? And then, you know what I mean? They didn't even probably even know where they were and stuff like that. So, and go make sense as to why he would want you to leave your positions in the car. You can't request, you can't anything, you can't emergency call anybody. But now my phone was in my hand like this. And he was so upset about the fact that I had forgotten my ID and stuff. I don't even think he realized that I had had my phone in my hand at that time. Yeah. Guys, I mean, my sister, John, John, I'm a pine, John. Those BMs and those Mercedes and those Benz and stuff like that that stop, please don't get in. No matter what, don't get in because not me falling for a whole human trafficker because I genuinely think that's what he is. I swear on my life and I refuse to think anything else. I swear that's what that nigga was. So yeah, guys, Zini, um, and I, he never bothered to contact me after that. But a few uh, months later when I was on Tinder and I remember somebody, I think he swiped i came across him and he said bah this person swiped on your thing and i remember the way that i went out of that app so fast like my life depended on i was like never again i'm not about to get stolen so yeah guys and i have so many other tinder stories as well guys even oh, tinder is not a safe space like at all it is not a safe space and yo i feel like when you are desperate and you're alone and you've been single for a while tinder is the go-to place for so many people i'm telling you about guys it is not safe Otina is not make sure and i feel like ever since then i've been like Papa, man, pinch. i'm so sorry i would rather go up to you and be like hi i like you do you want my number you seem safe can we go somewhere you understand so yeah guys and that's how everything ended and i think um my boyfriend never even literally confronted me about anything because at that point i was like posting about my relationship things that were being done for me and stuff like that and i think that's what that was it that's how my really my previous relationship ended 
um that i was in while i met opens remember i was in a relationship so yeah um yeah but pelela up okay guys in door and nothing more nothing less but i was just thinking about the story but it's so interesting that i've been in so many situations where something could have almost happened but it didn't thank god and go papa go papa because honestly i've got so many tinder stories as well like it's crazy so yeah i get guys in other than that thank you so much guys for tuning in and for listening to my story time i love you guys so much i'll catch you in the next one bye